Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are in Tampa at the Tampa RV Super Show, and we are with Kelly from Winnebago, and we're looking at their brand new Rome. Now, the Rome may not be brand new, but something special about the Rome is brand new. In fact, Zach, you want to show us what it is? Yep, yep. I would love to. Watch this. All right, this is the first Class B production model that has an accessibility ramp built into it. In the past, you would have to, it was sort of aftermarket, you'd have to, they would do it for you, but it would be sort of a custom thing um, and it would be aftermarket. This is actually built into the coach right on the line for all those who have accessibility challenges. Uh, this is amazing. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, like you said, this is the Rome. It was introduced last fall. When we initially in introduced it, we didn't introduce it with a pop top, and you'll see this one now has a pop top, which is really cool. It adds for more sleeping if you have a, a, a family or more than two people that are traveling. We have the one without the pop top here with the ramp as well. But yeah, this is the Winnebago's Rome. It's the um, accessibility. It's it's geared toward those people that want to get out and enjoy the outdoors, but you know without limits. And that's why we have the the ramp as well. So we're really excited to offer this to our to our RVers that still want to travel, but maybe have an accessibility um, challenge. Right, because not everybody also wants to have a big, you know, Class A or whatever. Because I know you make the Inspire, which we're going to look at in just a minute, um, which also um, has been made for some years with uh, an accessibility ramp. Right. But not everybody wants that. Right. This is like you know perfect for a lot of people right um so it's really great that you guys have started doing that yep. so this is uh built on a, a ram ram pro master chassis yep and in the back there is you know it's got everything you would expect in a camper van it's got Come a couch in the back and yeah you guys can go in and check it out there's zach can point out things some things too we've got um the couch in the back that would fold down into a bed so Come you can see there you go see that there's it's a fully equipped galley so it's everything you expect in a class in a camper van but with a lift and um the the compartments or the you hold that lisa i'm gonna go back here we're gonna open some of these up i was gonna All say right. they lower down so oh they lower can, down um so you can oh, it's hold locked. this there we go yeah so they would so you're it's it's easier for you to access so like this, yeah. So then it's easier for you to shut them. If gotcha. You can reach so it. you can use this yeah. if you're in a chair. Yep. Right. Yep. That's yep. great. Yep. TV would swivel. You know, this will, you know, you got your, your bathroom right back in here. If you, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Bathroom here that has the bars for you to, you know, move in and out of the shower area. So this is a wet bath. So you have your shower and your toilet area. Nice. But again, it has bars equipped, so you um, easy transition. Right, so you have a, a bar here as well as yep. here. Mm -hmm. So somebody who's in a chair, they, they've got their two points yes. of contact to help slide in yep. and out, yep. which is amazing. Yep. Um, and, and you said this uh, is, is your bed here. Um, this yeah. folds down. Yeah, that's correct. It turns, you know, when you have the doors fully open in the back, yep, yep. Um, they have fully open and then you can um, lay that flat into a bed for sleeping. Yes. Now this would also sort of be your uh, your dining room too, because here's, yep. mm -hmm. here's the table right here. Yep. And it just pops up just like that. There's, yep. there's a leg here. I'm not going to put it all the way up for you guys, but here's your dining room, which is great. Or your workstation too, for people that want to full time it and want to still be able to work. So yes. And what's also nice is the the room where Lisa is is standing right mm -hmm. at the entrance of the door. I mean, it's it's incredibly spacious. So for those with accessibility, it, it isn't very narrow. I've been in some Class Bs where you're kind of doing right. this, yep. uh, uh, coming and going, you know, yep. up and down. And, and of course, I understand they're made that way for a reason, and this is made for someone that, with accessibility, right. but it doesn't seem like you've had to sacrifice any of the amenities to add the accessibility ramp and accessibility space. Correct. It's here. Yes. There's a TV, there's a dining table, there's a bed, you got the pop-up, there's plenty of storage. Oh my gosh, a bathroom mm -hmm. with, with bars mm -hmm. for someone to get in and out of. Right. Um, so I'm also assuming at uh, least in the front and you don't have to turn around, but the chairs up there would turn around yes. as well, right? Yep, they would swivel as well. Yep, exactly. And here is your ladder to get up to your pop top. Excellent. So there's a bed up there. That's very, you know, we'll, they we'll, have, we'll take you guys up there since yeah. I'm the tall man. We'll just, <laughs> so it's got, um, it's, it's actually very comfortable. If you climb up there, kids love it, but there's like, you know, you can zip this, um, out. So there's like a shade right there. If you would unzip this, there's a shade. Nice. Out. So you do have some, some, 
sunlight to come in as well. So. And she was she was talking about the ladder. The ladder yeah. stored right here, yep. mm -hmm. and so that ladder would come down so you yep. could so you could get up there. And then they've done such little things like this as to make sure that you have extra space, but also something that's accessible. So if you're sitting in your chair, you can, you can still get to it. Get to it, you know, because right here we do have the microwave and there is a cubby for some storage here. But just to make sure we have enough storage for our beers, you want to have something that's accessible. So we added this as well. Storage is is always oh my goodness uh, the yeah. fight. You have a, you know, a little area here. Oh, that's for, great. Yeah, for, to, for prepping and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and so on. So we, we have a, 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 um, a smaller travel trailer uh -huh. and we talk all the time when we go into the bigger ones with the countertop space for prepping and stuff. Right. And it just, it's always a challenge, especially we full time. Yeah. And, and so, um, it's great. I mean, it's just this little thing, yeah. right? But oh my gosh, you almost doubled your prep area right. Right. with just that yep. little addition right there. Absolutely. All right. Little, uh, 12 volt, I'm assuming yep. fridge. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Exactly. Excellent. Yep. And then these are just drawers for um, storage, but it's nice that you can like wipe them out, they're cleanable, they come all the way out, so it's not like you have to, they come fully extendable drawers um, for you to have have items in as well so excellent so let's go take a quick look at the aspire okay right yeah perfect everybody watch your step coming down here all right so we were we're talking about the uh inspire um yeah. now this is a, a class a now this is diesel right yeah this is built on a freightliner chassis so it is diesel we do build um accessibility enhanced motorhomes as well on gas chassis as well on a ford gas chassis. okay and okay. again this is also a production line this is not a a, a special you got to do something special for me this is just no. you um right you you'll be able to get these at a dealership um there's dealers across the country um and so yeah that, that you can actually instead of having to special order it or buy it you can actually get it at a dealer all right zach why don't you uh show us how this brawn lift works Alrighty. yeah I'm very simple curious. just a couple buttons is all it needs Whoa. Now, are you able to operate that from here, or is that a separate person inside with the controls? You can do either or. Now, how great is that, everybody? Yeah. And all that's, um, control, control it in there. And then, right. when that's all in, the door just closes, which is super solid. Yeah. And... It doesn't really, unless you're looking hard at it, it doesn't even look like there's a, a ramp there. Absolutely amazing. Which by the way, so you all know, this is the 34AE. There's some specifics on it. I'll put some more in the video for you guys. And as Kelly was saying, it's built on a Freightliner chassis. Yep. Um, Lisa, why don't you take this for just a second? Absolutely. Yeah. What I love about Freightliner chassis is the storage underneath yeah. is just amazing. And a lot of exterior storage out here. And it's actually, it's cross-through storage, so you can see all the way to the other end. If oh, you want yeah. To go there. So yeah. if you have large items or long items, you can get those through. Lit compartments also have carpet in on the bottom so that it's, you know, keeps your things clean. And everything is sealed up. So Slam latches. Yep. Are the underbellies heated in here? These, I believe, are not. Are these? Are, no, they're not. They're no. not. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just something we're going through right now with uh, so many people are, are getting rid of the brick and mortar and going full time oh, sure, and finding yeah, yeah. the absolutely perfect full time RV. It's a yeah. It really yep. is. Yep. So, all right, we're, I'm just going to keep on. I'm assuming this is the TV back here. Yep, I don't know if it's open. No, it we is have, not. We have to get the keys. That's fine. Yep, there's That's fine. That would, that would open up for your outside entertainment. There's some more storage back here. Yep. Right? And then. The generator. This is where your batteries are. Okay. All right, so let's go take a look inside, everybody. So just one thing real quick is that there is a cover here that would go down over the steps so that when you are inside um, and the door is shut, you don't have to worry about getting, you the know. chair, yeah. Right, exactly. That's so that's a feature that is kind of, you sometimes miss that. So that's there when you're putting that out. Now, I saw these in the van. Are these lash downs points for the chair do we know because i saw that in in the Rome. i believe they are yes. yeah, la yeah latch points mm -hmm. yes yep. okay tie downs yeah that way there when you go down the road whoever's yeah. in the chair or the chair itself isn't going anywhere right. that's yep. great good thinking ahead yep. so uh, again for those uh who don't know the freightliner chassis it's a commercial well, chassis um you'll find that on on most of the 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 diesel pushers um, as opposed to the, the gas ones are typically on Ford chassis. Um, when you're sitting here, um, again, remember guys, for those who don't know, I'm six foot four. 
and I can't tell you how comfortable this is. I mean, the chair, and I, I haven't even tried to play with the adjustments, but it's like they knew I was coming because it's just set perfectly for me. Um, everything is in a great place, so if you're tall like I am, um, this is an amazing, comfortable ride right here. Um, Lisa, where she's sitting, the space that she has is also amazing um, because the door is behind her. I mean, she's she's got more leg room than the driver. I have a ton of room over here. This is right? great. Um, I was wondering if this, does this lift up? Yep, just for extra storage and there's ports then if you wanted to connect. Nice. So I, yes, so I could actually be yeah. working on yes, a computer. Or, yep. Yes, that's and nice. And there's enough room that if you were able to transition with your wheelchair, if you, you could tie down. Right. But if you also want to sit, in the passenger seat, there's enough space that you could you Correct, could because they swivel as well, I'm they assuming, do. so you can turn it sideways, oh, correct. get into the chair yep. from yep. your chair, yes. and then swivel it around. Correct, yeah. That's great, That's correct. absolutely amazing. Yeah. All right, now above our head, guys, is a bed. This is a bed, and, and, and so back there. It's okay, we, we've seen these before. They're, okay. they're on a bit of a track, mm -hmm. right? And so yep. when you're parked, um, there's usually a button that's typically somewhere back here. It could be in this control panel. And it just lowers the bed down. There's a little ladder that hooks yeah. up right there. Yeah. And so if you need an, an extra space for someone else to sleep, this is the great way to have extra space. Yeah. Um, it's one of the things that we love. We've looked at a couple of Class A's for ourselves. We're sort of in between, are we gonna do the fifth wheel? Are yeah. we gonna do the Class A? Yeah. And you, the, the pros and the cons on both are this. Yeah. I mean. The only thing that leads us towards, our, personally, a fifth wheel is I already have an F-350. Oh, sure. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, that's, that's it. It's one, that's it. Anyway, yeah. but yeah. with what we're looking for, if it's a Class A, we want to have this extra bed above. Sure. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've got your theater chairs over here, and as you can mm -hmm. see, there's seat belts. Mm -hmm. So, if you have um, other passengers driving with you, you can legally have them seat belted in here as you're driving down yep. the road. Yep. And then this one also, you're able to recline it as well. Oh, nice. So, and so it becomes a, a bed, yep. if you will. Exactly. Nice. So you can recline that as well. And it looks like there's, is that storage yep. underneath? And these pull out for footrests. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're latched in there pretty good. Yes, there there you go. And so you pull it out. There's a, oh, can, that's nice. So if you wanted like an ottoman, well, you, nice. could, you could, you know, you could just use it as an ottoman or you could just use it as just kind of a relaxation. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. I like that. Um, obviously, you can see the storage above, guys. Yep. Um, now, the only uh, thing that I would point out from when we do our videos, guys, this being the living room, uh, because of the accessibility ramp, obviously the TV's not here. The TV's over to the right. Um, so for those who are looking at that, yep, the, the TV is over here by the dining table. Yep. And again, it'll pull out and swivel, which yep. I'm sure you're working, which is fine. Um, but we like to point that out. There's things that we do uh, you yep. know, for our subscribers. Yep. Do yes. um, sort of a traditional dinette. Um, which also becomes a bed. Correct. Right, so yep. this goes down. And there's I, a lot of storage under here that needs to slip up. And excellent. There's a bunch of storage oh, yeah. here. It's actually deeper than because yep. it goes back in there. That is nice, yeah. So and I can see there's seat belts too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've got driver, passenger, two here, and two here or four uh, here? Two um, here. I'd have to double check. So six to eight at on least. On the floor plan, does it say that, Nick? Usually it says on the floor plan. On the dinette. Three on the dinette? Yes. Okay. Three, so three four, here. five, six, seven. One, two, seven. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. That's great. Mm -hmm. And again, I know it's a small thing, but there's coasters built into the table. Yeah, so if you're driving down the road and you have out a drink, it's not going to go sliding forward if yeah. you have to stop short or anything. And we have them here too in the sofa too. Yes, so yes. And uh, this, by the way, you see these little pinpoints? Yeah, that's for like a little table that you can yeah. put in here. So if you're, you know, watching the game or whatever, you can have like a little table there. Or even if you're doing, like you said, working, you have right. a little laptop up there yep. or whatever. and they're stored in the back. Yep. And then um, there is some storage, guys, underneath the TV. You missed that there, okay? As well as some storage above, okay? All right, so Lisa, let's look at this kitchen because I love how it kind of, it almost looks like this slides out, doesn't it? slide out. Does, does that slide out or is that? I don't know if it does. Oh, you know what it is? This is solid. And this that comes slide. in. Correct. That's and what it is. they did that because so 
that there would still be enough of an aisle for a person with a wheelchair to get through. Yeah. So if, for, yeah, it would it would that's be nice if it came out, but yes, it's it's for an accessibility all the way back. No, but yeah, that's great. Well, that, again, that is an amazing design because you still get sort of an aisle, not an island, but an L, yeah. but the slide comes in. That's great ingenuity, I think. That actually gives yeah. You. That's awesome. Yeah. So we do have a nice stainless sink. Well, look at this faucet. Isn't that beautiful? That's great. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of storage um, above. We do have some storage above, and that does lift up. That's nice storage there. Um, we do have our microwave, and I'm not sure how you open that. <laughs> you just pull it. <laughs> That is a big it's microwave. It's got the, yeah, it's got the, um, it's, uh, that's what was tricking me. I thought yeah. it was a lock. Yeah. <laughs> but yep. it's, it's actually so, yeah, it's more accessible. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, I like that. Lots of drawers here, too. Yes. Lots of storage. Um, and so we do have a three burner stove with nice beefy grates. Beefy grates. <laughs> and then, um, underneath, we do have some more storage. Yep. Both and fully extension. Full, yeah. yeah. Full extension. Yeah. yeah. All the remotes. Well as, <laughs> as well as over here underneath the counter space. So there, uh, there's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of storage. Yeah. 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 Yeah
started yet. We're just getting a sneak preview. And so uh, we're, we're all here. Uh, a lot of uh, YouTubers are here. Um, some in the, um, industry people are here. And so we're, we're getting a sneak peek ahead of time to bring you guys some stuff uh, before the show actually opens. So there is a lot of cabinetry in here. Yeah, just in a large wardrobe. There's a lot more storage than what I imagined. Yeah. yeah, and that passes all the way through. Big, yeah. deep drawers, oh, yeah. Yeah. which is great. And the reason because we're able, you're able to do that is this whole side is a slide. It goes from that kitchen all the way here to the I back. That is super slide. It is. So the whole side, nice super slide. Yeah. Cabinetry above. I kind of almost like this little desk area right there, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. You know, it'd be hard to sort of sit at because of the the way you know you have to design around the engine. Right. But it looks like there's a light, charging. Switch, a light switch and a charger. Yes. There. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. But you got your wireless chargers USB built ports, in. USB ports. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I love the articulating bed. And then right across from me, where I'm sitting, you know, if, if you want to watch TV while you're in here, as you see, there's a TV already mounted, which is great. And when we get back to the whole accessibility thing, the door, I mean, look at the, the doorway, right? When do you see doorways? Yeah, push down on that little slot, there you go. Right? It's, <laughs> bye. Okay. Right, but look at that. So they're using sort of a, um, I don't want to call it bifold, but two doors. And, and you get this massive opening, which again, it, obviously it's built for accessibility, but to be able to engineer it, to, to have these spaces in here is just awesome. So we're gonna go back outside here real quick, y'all, and get just sort of a, a quick look. Again, we didn't really get to do all the outside, but this is actually a beautiful coach. So uh, we wanna thank Kelly for, for showing us uh, uh, everything between the Rome, which is really what we came here to see. The, the Inspire was a bonus, right, because there's this is the only class B handicap accessible in the market right. that is produced on the line. Right, and like I said, this one is you know the newest one for the show is with the pop top, and then we have the Rome over here that it has without the pop top. So if you just were a solo traveler, maybe yeah. and you didn't need that extra sleeping, this is the same version as what we walked through, but just without the pop top. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for sharing with yeah. us. And if you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to your local dealer um, or or call Kelly at Winnebago. Well, Winnebago.com, <laughs> you can find on the website, has information about the Rome and the Inspire. So Winnebago.com and just click on models and go from there. That's great. All right, everybody, until we see you all again on the road, be safe.